Well, when I started to make that decision to be a truck driver, I was in a very bad abusive relationship, always running away. I was going to shelters. And of course, um, it never saved me. I always ended up back in the same situation. Sorry, it does make me a little teary eye because it, it brought me a long ways from where I'm at now. And it makes me feel good that I found my inner strength and my self-worth. And I didn't have that back then. The young Rosa was very confused and lost. I didn't have that guidance. And trucking actually did save me. It allowed me to get my independence, my strength back, and only that I was able to provide for myself. Finished school and then I got my truck, I signed and I was like, wow, I actually did this. Here I am making my own money and being independent and finding my strength and I didn't have to rely on no one. And the other reason why I got into it was also at that same time, my brother was a gunshot victim. Medical bills were getting expensive for my mom. Single mother, you know, she raised all four of us and everything. And it was hard for her. And my uncle was actually a truck driver. And he was like, yeah, be a trucker. He goes, you make good money and you can help your mom out and help the family and stuff. And you're gonna help yourself out. And I'm like, okay, let me do this. When I first started, it was uh, pretty rough because it wasn't common for a female truck driver to be out there. And you gotta remember, I started in the late 90s. I got a lot of harassment from other drivers at truck stop. Safety was a big thing for me, but I think uh, being a female driver, it shows a lot of uh, strength. We're capable of doing things just as well as a man can do. I think when I found my inner peace, I was like, wow, what other women are out there in my situation? How could I influence them? And that's why I wanted to be a trainer. Let me tell you, the women I've trained, I'm very proud to say that we got a sisterhood. One of my students, she had a newborn, five months old, um, went right when COVID was ending. She couldn't find baby formula in California. And she really graduated from my truck. She's Rosa, can you help me find some out in Arizona? I'm like, sure, I'll help you find it. Sure enough, I bought me two cases of it, drove down, not in my semi truck, in my personal car, to deliver it to her back in Oakland. They call me their big mom or their sister, big sister. And I'm glad because they probably didn't have somebody to look up to. And I'm glad that I could be that image for them and help them out along the way. So my truck actually raises money for the Children's Miracle Network. Every mile that I drive, night transportation will donate three cents to the cause for the pet therapy program. I'm amazed and honored to drive that truck because going to the events, seeing the children, getting into my truck, just the smile they bring and hearing their story. And here I thought I had trials and tribulations, you know, as an adult. I'm like, wow, what strength they have, that drive. And seeing that in them makes me drive harder to be good and help others. I'm actually a registered certified medical assistant. and I was asked to run a testing site when COVID first happened. I also have an autoimmune disease called lupus, Hashimoto, and fibromyalgia. I'm a high risk in catching COVID, but I wanted to be part of it. I wanted to be part of helping and getting this solved. And I was running the testing sites, and then I was asked to help run a vaccination site out here at the Cardinal Stadium. It was remarkable saying that we had something answer. It wasn't gonna cure it, but it was giving them some type of a peace. It was really remarkable that people all came together and try to help out one another. I don't feel like me coming to work, it's like a burden. It's not like I'm unhappy. I love coming to work. I love getting in my truck. I love coming in the office, saying hi to everybody. I really love my poor team. They don't treat me as another number and I don't see them as a co-worker. I see them like a brother, like a sister, another additional of my family. We have such great drivers within our company and other companies that don't have a voice to bring out their story. I just hope this platform opens up doors. Um, women that hear my story, that know that there's hope out there, that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Me being nominated, um, it's just a shock and I'm just blessed, I gotta say. I really think um, my goal for this year and from this point on is to find the uh, next driver with a remarkable story that could change lives from being a driver.